Are you ready to make coaching your career, your everyday livelihood, the thing that ignites you? In this video, we are talking about level two education designed to give you confidence in your competence to be a professional coach in the world every single day. There are some starting points that can be a little bit different. So let's call them groups. I'm gonna start with group one. This is for people who are at the very beginning no previous education in coaching, maybe in some exposure, maybe you've had a coach and you really loved the experience and realized there was something in it that you wanted to, and you're deciding you want this to be your livelihood. You want to begin with a level two program. Does that mean the International Coaching Federation has established the standards for that form of education? It's at least 125 hours. For most people, that's about a 16 to 18 month journey. In addition, the focus of that learning is on developing your skill to what we would call the intermediate level of competence, eligible to earn, demonstrate first, and then earn a professional certified coach credential. You might have heard PCC thrown around or maybe even worked with a PCC coach. Level two training is designed for that. In addition, you have 10 hours of mentor coaching and you have the preparation necessary for you to not only pass the demonstration assessment of your coaching with a client, but also the ICF credentialing exam, which is the last step of being awarded the credential and proudly being able to distinguish yourself in the market as a professional coach every single day. So if the simple answer I just described doesn't quite fit for you, you probably are in group two or group three. And what does that mean? You had some exposure to the International Coaching Federation and some training programs perhaps or some part of education in a level one or what previously was called approved coach specific training hours. However you might have been exposed, all of it is good for you and it will count towards what you want to do now. However, it will be important that you put yourself in the place of working with an ICF accredited program. They're not all the same, And a question you'll want to ask is, is my previous experience eligible for credit transfer? That's the key question. Now, if you've already earned your ACC credential, I'm going to put you in group two. And you're now seeking the additional 65 hours, which would complete a level two program and take your competence to the PCC level. All right, a little bit of a word of caution. If you're in group two, which means you have your ACC credential, ask yourself, what is on my certificate of completion? If it says ACTP, which stands for Accredited Coach Training Program, then that means you had 125 or more hours and you were actually trained to the PCC level. That's what it means also to complete a level two program. And this is the change that was made really in naming from ACTP to level two. So if that's what it shows on your certificate, a new level two program isn't required. That's not for you. What you want to be doing is out in the world, practicing, building your client experience, and then being able to apply to the ICF to demonstrate that your coaching is at the PCC level and earn that credential. And with time, once you have your PCC and you continue to practice, you'll want to pursue level three training. But I'll save that for another video and not confuse our other group. Those of you in group three are ones who were involved in training at some time in the last 27 years that the ICF has existed. And it would have been called approved coach specific training hours. You might have a letter, you might have a certificate, you might have a transcript, 
somewhere in that combination of materials, it would reference ICF approved coach specific training. The number of hours matters because of course, level one is 60 hours and that's always been true. But maybe you didn't quite get that much. So now you're going to want to pick up the phone and call an ICF accredited provider and ask them, do you take transfer of credit hours? And this is a great conversation to have with our relationship advisor, Lori, who can help you to see, oh, these things would qualify. And this is what you would need in addition to fill out your level one component and then step into the 65 plus hours that are in the second part of level two. I know that sounds like a whole bunch of words. So what I want you to be left with is, yes, I've had some ICF approved training. Maybe not enough. What would I need to do to get more? That's the question you're going to want to ask any education provider that you speak with, and it will put you on the path to having ease at the ICF to earn the next credential you want. Three groups of people. We want to talk to all of you. And know that we can sort out any confusion you might have about where your current experience prepares you and what the next step in enrollment might look like. Lori Johnson is available as our relationship advisor to do that. She's also a PCC coach and a delivery leader. So you could ask any question you want about the curriculum and the learning experience, not just sort out what's the right next step for you. Both are true here. See you soon.